Okay, another Riley dog protection. All right. Hey, welcome to Steve's Lantern Shop again in Southern California. Just want to go over with a, a couple of lanterns here today. And this specific lantern here is a Dietz Little Wizard. And notice it doesn't have the step on, on the side. From 1936 until about 38, they made them this style. And then, you, as you can see here, they added a step either in 1938 or 1939 and so they also did the same thing with the Dietz Monarch Lanterns. Notice this one doesn't have a step and then this one has a step. Not too much talk has been about these lanterns you know with the step without the step but I think the the D lights also had that same style and so anyways Got some more lanterns here. This is the high low section here. If you can notice, it says LB Gas Department, Long Beach Gas Department. And uh, got that. Some had uh, markings on them, but the gas department added this to it. Either it was brazed or, or soldered onto it. And this lantern here, another high low. And, it's uh, on top, it says Pasadena Water Department, and on the back side of the globe, if you can see it, it's embossed on it also. And so these lanterns just required just, just a finger uh, to raise it, you know. And so this lantern here is a, a square tanker. You know, it's got the square tank, flat bottom, and it's actually stamped LA County for LA County Road. And uh, same with this one. This one is stamped on top Southern Coastal Gas Company. It's got the, uh, the finger mechanism, just required two fingers to raise the globe to light it. And these lanterns basically had a, what you call a, uh, a tube on the inside to uh, stick the wick in it and it was kind of considered a baffle and so I think the baffle was applied on certain lanterns to allow just a certain amount of kerosene up to the wick so it wouldn't get flooded out when it was burning and this this lantern here same thing it's got a baffle on the inside of this tank, and this lantern is actually says stolen from the city of Pittsburgh, and on the globe it's actually etched into it the city of Pittsburgh, which is very unique. And the square tanker here, <laughs> the square tanker here, of the eight-day tanker. It has a baffle on the inside of it also. This lantern here, 2 225 Embry, it also has a baffle on the inside. And there's not much talk about baffles, you know, on uh, the lantern side. I'm just going through some of these. The number 25 truck lamp has a baffle on the back side of uh, on the bottom side of it also and the same with the the Embry 500 this is actually property of public service company Colorado it has a baffle on the inside also many lanterns had baffles in them even the Acme inspector lanterns they have a baffle on the inside and I'm sure that there's more of them that have baffles also. So when this is put on the uh, website, um, if anyone's got any more lanterns that have baffles in them, uh, please uh, don't hesitate make comments about it. But I just wanted to uh, you know talk about you know certain lanterns at this time. And next time we're gonna do. I got a lot of lanterns to talk about. 
but uh, we're not done yet, you know. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do some more episodes, and I want everyone to enjoy this. And uh, if you got more talk about it, uh, let us know, you know. That's a, a, a 1957 barricade from the Long Beach Gas Department. This one here is from the Watts Riot in 1965. This one down here, or up on top, that's from Florida with the old barricade in 1965. Here's an old utility pitcher from 1965 in Florida. This pitcher here, it's an open trench, open hole in 1965 in Florida. It just give you an idea of how they used to use uh, or leave the uh, the trench open before they had steel plates. This picture here is down in Florida, 1964, 1965. You got the old barricades with the old metal uh, barricade lights, even with the, the old Toledo torch burning in front of it. And this picture here is old traffic cones. They were painting the lanes in 1961 down in Florida. And just wanted to share that with you. And these, these also are the Hanlon number 25 uh, truck lights. The ones with the uh, the paper on them. They're brand new, never been used, but they're hanging here and uh, waiting to be lit, you know? Very good. Yeah. And so anyways, I hope everyone enjoys this and we'll do a couple more videos soon. And uh, we'll keep in touch and make some comments. Okay, get her done. <laughs> All right.